hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to create a graph view and in case you missed previous discussion about how to add kanban view progress bar like this way let's say if i will change like this automatically it will update something like this way how we can add progress bar in the kanban view please check link is given in the description if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblands channel under the home screen you can see Odoo 1718 development tutorial right now we are working on this playlist if you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning you can visit this playlist this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so let's back to our main topic how we can add graph view in this student profile right so let's say uh, let me give you some insights i'm going to the crm right here you can see once you hover here you can see this is the graph once you click here by default you can see the bar chart right by the way uh, there are three types of default graphs available the first one is the bar chart the second one is the line chart and third one is the pie chart okay here we have optional measures right all the integer and the float field you will see here by default it will display here right and by default it is count so let's see some different operations and what is the purpose of each right in this our custom student profile right so now first thing is i'm going to the custom add-ons as usual in the student module right and simple here we are going to the students view dot xml file so let me go to here in not in the form view not in the kanban view but here let me add here one more view right which is graph view so for that like i have to add this xml code right like this way ir ui view right then after here student profile graph view here the field name is the name then after model then after here let's say ch type xml let me remove this extra one and simple here what i'm doing is like this is the name i will copy here and instead of the underscore i will add here the dot or you can also add here any of the name okay that is also fine so here we can use wb dot student because this is our model name right and simple this is the simple uh, let's say the syntax right for any kind of use we have to create so this is the basic one so first one is the model model should be iri view right and id as you already know right we have to provide the unique id that's it and after here we have to provide the graph that's it and here we can add like how many fields we have to display right let for for example let's say the name field let's say the school underscore id and one more field is the gender right right now i'm doing like this way only after that like this is our graph view is complete right because this is very easy same like the list view right we can directly create the graph view something like this way now here this graph we have to register this view in this windows action if we are not providing this graph view that means it won't become here because the view mode right you can see here it will only add like the list form and the kanban right now i have to add one more view which is the graph so i will also add here the graph that's it after that i have to upgrade this module why because i have changed in the xml side and it won't be automatically reflect in the front end side without upgrade the module okay so the first thing is i'm going to upgrade the module so guys if you don't know how to configure or do in pycharm please check editor level playlist i already explain everything so once i will click to this button so you can see it will automatically upgrade that module right you can see here see now let me minimize this one 
let me refresh the screen and you can see here right as of now two icon was there previously but now you can see one more is added which is the graph right by default we already added some filters right this filter and this filter so this is the filter and this is the group by okay so based on the icon you can see here once i will remove that filter and once i click to this graph by default you can see it's grouped by with gender why because it's already there you can see the one gender the female gender and the male gender right here you can see one more thing once you hover here in this blue color right you can see in a tool tip it's count as a five count right so means total five record is under this gender one if I hover here, you can see female records, the students, total number of student is seven students, right? And if you hover here, male having only two students, right? So like this way, you can see here. One more thing is once you click here, you will automatically redirect to those records only, which having a gender one, right? This is very interesting. You can see here. Now you can see the female one. And here, once I click here, that means I'm automatically redirect to those male records. Interestingly, you can also switch from three different views, right? By default, you can see this is bar chart by default, right? Once I click to this line chart, it will display the line chart graph. Once I click to here, the pie chart, right? It will automatically display this pie chart. And you can see here the number of records available here right once i click here so that means it will unvisible right so you can see something like this here you can also do count as a disable then it won't be appear here okay and in the line chart yeah see right so I hope you understood about the basic idea here. There is a one more thing is the measures, right? So measures automatically appear here by default. You can see four fields available here. Discount, enrollment number, final fees and the student fees here. Interesting thing is it will automatically appear. Why? Because those are the integer as well as float field is available, right? So it will automatically get here and by default, this is the count option and by default it's tick automatically, right? You can see. If you want to see by the student fees, you can do something like this, right? Then after you can ascending or sorry, this is the ascending and this is the descending order, right? And this is the stack. So by default, let me go to, uh, let me choose here. So let me refresh the screen first, right? Here by default, you can see it's a bar chart, right? You can see here the school name, right? And the gender you can see here and once i untick so that stack automatically disable right if you click here so stack is displayed like this way so this is the main purpose of the stack now here the descending order ascending order we can do something like this right so it is like this another thing is if you want to disable some records then you have to just click and you can see this whole uh, in a in this name right you can see the line is there so that means it's a disable in this view if you want to appear one more time you can click and it will visible like this when here you can see this is the x line right and here you can see it will display the name of the students now let's talk about some different operations which is very useful in the graph view actually right what if right uh, the stack should be the disable by default you want a line chart a line graph right or the pie chart not the bar chart what about the fees total fees should be automatically selected by not the count right and one more interesting thing is uh, let me go to the count and once I click to here right I want to disable also this link uh, this redirection right and another thing is if i will go to here then you can see it's untitled right but instead of untitled i want to add something new 
so what i have to do right so those are the basics operations you have to remember and then after based on the requirement you can directly uh, change easily so for that uh, let me go to here in the graph so first thing is the string okay so string is let's say what is the graph name right student graph let's say i'm adding here directly string as a student graph now what is the main purpose right we can add here so let's see here let me upgrade the module let me refresh the screen right now once i click here now you can see it will automatically says student graph right and once i click here then boom that particular uh, string is not visible here right why what is the main purpose let's say uh, this is the clickable uh, graph you already added here right so users going to here the number of records they can see here right and instead of untitled you want to add some title right so here you can add title so that is the main purpose you can add as a string here now what about if you don't want to click anyhow this bar right then how you can do it so there is a one attribute is there you can add here one more attribute which is disable linking and the one that's it after let's say i'm trying to upgrade the module right and once i refresh the screen now you can see the particular icon is also changed here right instead of the hand icon of the mouse now you can see the pointer icon right and once i click here i am not able to uh, let's say redirect to the records not in the line chart or neither in this pie chart right so that is the main benefit of this disable link now another win is the order by right you want to add order by as a id descending order ascending order something like that you can directly use here but right now i'm not using anyhow this one order by but here we can use the stack this one so by default it's a stack right if i click unclick here so it will display something like this right so let's say i will use here stack and by default i will use here zero and i will refresh the screen and by the way this stack only works in this bar chart okay and now let's say i'm going to here remove all the filters and now you can see by default it's a disable right now you can enable like this way so once i will refresh the screen one more time let me remove all the filters and now you can see it's a disable after that uh, let's say if i will jump from list view to the graph view right i want to see first the pie chart right this one the beautiful one right not the bar chart but the pie chart how can i do it so for that uh, there is one more option is available type equal to here we have to use uh, the by default it's a bar chart okay so we can use here pie chart by the way you have to only provide the one which is what should be the default uh, chart you want to display right so here we can use bar let's say the pie or let's say the line okay now let's say pi let me refresh the screen and once i will refresh the screen here you can see by default available the pie chart not the bar chart right see so this is the magic of this attribute now here uh, let's say by default it's a count right and i want to change from count to the student fees so how can i do it so for that we can use here the field name student underscore fees right so this is the field name uh, we have to register here and here we can use type and we have to use here measure that's it after we have to upgrade the module and refresh the screen right and now you can see here by default it's tick right so like this way you can add 
something like this way another thing is uh, you can see here uh, we have let's say the student name uh, let me switch to the bar chart here you can see uh, this is the student name the gender right but let's say you want to also add a date and time field right so you can also add here something like that let's say field name as of now i'm using here the create that and by the way field type is the date and time right now here uh, let me upgrade the module let me refresh the screen I'm, I'm showing you here one more interesting thing right now you can see here november 24 uh 2024 right and you can see it's display the month and the year right if i click to here you can see like this let me refresh the screen ah sorry it's display here november 2024 why because we added here the first field name if i will switch from first to the, the second one right so it will appear from here yeah so that is the also main you can say the priority of the field which one you want to add in the x or in the top of here right now let's say create that is here and one more thing is if you want to add something else right so you can use here interval uh, let's say the week you can say let me refresh the screen and it will display the number of weeks for that year instead of the full date and time okay let me switch to the bar chart and now you can see w48 w1 2025 right something like this way here uh, there are more options is available so by default you can see it will display month you can also add a day then after you can also add quarter right or you can also use the year so let me cut from here and paste here and let's see here let's say how many students right it's created from the specific year so we can have an idea here so you can see 2024 something like this right you can see here once i will hover here it says 2024 that particular student and that particular student fees why because we choose here this one if i will use the count right so it will display accordingly here let's say chart sorry the bar chart right and now you can see here it's display 2024 this students 2025 this students it displays something like this right after that you can see the student fees right so student fees here you can see that particular student the student name is missing that is that is the particular student name the school gender and after you can see right uh, this 200k uh, so that is the fees all right so let me go to here and yeah this one you can see the student name is missing and if you go to here in the school detail you can see the student fees so this student fees already measure here in the y like this right so it will display something like this way and by the way uh, all the new students right which is not uh, which is created in 2025 and here um, might be there is a possible it is below 10k so you can't see here but you can see here the dark lines here right so let me you can see here right so those are the students but you can't see properly right so let's go to count and it will automatically appear like this way so yeah so this is all about the graph view right including all the possible scenarios with using the different attributes and the different purpose i hope you understood about the graph view and in case you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session